giving you a full review and then sharing with you a bunch of different uses for the Neverfull pouch. Now, my pouch is in the Damier Ben print and then inside it has the rose ballerine interior. And I did get this pouch when I purchased my Neverfull, but a lot of times people don't know what to do with their pouches and they actually end up selling them just because they can't find a use for them. So say you have a Neverfull and you're not quite sure what to use your pouch for, or you were able to come across one of these on the free love market because you can't buy these separately in the store, unfortunately. Or maybe you're just looking for an SLG that has a lot of different uses or to use as a catch-all. This little pouch really packs a punch. To give you a quick review of this pouch, it does come in multiple cans canvases as well as multiple interior colors. This one is in the Dami Aben print and for the interior color options it's the pink and the red. In the monogram I believe it comes in the red, the fuchsia, as well as the beige. And then in the Dami Azure it comes in the pink and then the beige. And this is one piece of canvas. It actually folds over on the top and you can see that right here around the zipper. So you're going to have the LVs facing up on the front here but then they are upside down on the back. So if you were to get the monogram it is going going to be right side up on one side and then upside down on the back side. This being the Damier Aben, it does have the treated leather strap. If you get the monogram or the azure, this is going to be the Vachetta leather, but being the Aben piece, it is going to be treated leather, so it's going to be a little bit more carefree. And this little piece unclips here, so you can clip this inside of a bag if your bag has a D-ring, or you can even completely take this off by just slipping it through right here. And if you do want to leave it on, you can just clip it just like that here. And then around the edges here, there is some stitching as well as glazing to make sure that the canvas doesn't fray or crack. Going to the inside, it is one main compartment and then there is one smaller slip pocket right there. And the slip pocket is a fairly good size. It does cover a majority of the size of the pouch. Um, but other than that, it is just one main open compartment here. The first use I have for you is going to be using this as either a clutch or a wristlet. If you're going to be using it as a clutch, you can easily take the strap off by just unlacing it right here and then carrying the bag just like that. Or if you do want to use it as a wristlet, you just hook this right onto the D-ring here and then you can put this right around your wrist and carry it like this. Now another use for this is gonna be using it as either a mini bag or your actual purse. So what you can do is take this wristlet strap off and you could even put either a chain or another strap on here to use it as a bag. So I am gonna take this little strap off here and that just weaves right through there. It would be really nice if they just had two of these little hooks but unfortunately they don't but that comes off just like that. And that's how you can carry it as the clutch. So I took that off here and I can either attach a chain strap to this or a strap from another bag. So I did get my strap from my Alma BB and since my Alma was in the monogram, this is in the Vachetta leather instead of the treated leather, but the contrast isn't gonna be too bad on here and I could easily rock this just like that. Uh, or if you do happen to have another bag that is in the same print as whatever your never full pouch is in, you can always get that too. So you can carry it like this. So you can just carry it right around your shoulder and it will hang like that. Or if you're not gonna put too many valuables in it, you can actually leave it open like that if you're not in a crowd of people and then carry it more as an actual bag like that. And then that is what it would look like. Now, just for reference, I am gonna show you what a larger strap would look like. So this is the Dami Aben strap from my Speedy Bandolier. And I am gonna hook both of those onto this little D-ring here because these hooks are a lot bigger and they won't fit on the zipper. But I'll hook it just like that. And so if you wanted a little bit thicker, bulkier strap, I know that the guitar strap styles are in right now. So you could always use that if you have a Speedy Bandolier instead and then you just hook that right on here like that. Now, whether you're gonna be using this as a handbag, a wristlet, or as a little clutch, you can always jazz this up like you would a regular handbag by adding bag charms to it. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I just have a little poof ball here, and I got this one because it does match my interior fairly well. So I am just gonna hook this on to that same D-ring here. And that just kind of kicks it up another notch and gives it a little fun pizzazz. Now, I probably wouldn't keep this on here if I'm using this just as a catch-all in a handbag. But if I am carrying it by itself, I think that just makes it look even cuter. Now, there are a lot of different ways that you can jazz up your pouch other than with a bag charm. You can put on a luggage tag that's been hot stamped with your initials on here. 
or you can tie a bandeau on into a little bow here for some more flair. So now I'm gonna be showing you what fits inside if you were gonna be carrying it as your primary bag. So inside here, I'm gonna put my phone in and this is the iPhone 7 with the OtterBox commuter case and that is gonna fit right in here. Now as far as cards and cash go, I can either put those in by themselves in this little slip pocket here or I do have my card case which fits just fine and so this is just a Kate Spade card case. So I can just put coins and cash in this top zipper part and then there are three card slots, one on the front here and then two on the back to put my cards. And this will fit perfectly fine in here. So I'm just gonna make sure that my phone is laying flat on the bottom here and I am gonna slip this right over on the side. And this is not all the way down on the bottom. The card case is gonna be up just a little bit to make sure that everything fits properly. And up next, I do have my Louis Vuitton key pouch and I do have a key fob as well as my house key in here. And I just store that right in the pouch with that zipped up. And that is gonna fit this way, like right here. So I'm gonna slip that in just like that. So I can still fit in a few more things here. So I'm gonna put in a little lip product. This is the Sugar brand. It is the Sugar Nude Tinted Lip Treatment. And I am gonna slip that in right between my card case and my key pouch. And then I can also fit in a little perfume. This is one of those refillable travel scent holders and I can slip that right here on the top. And then I'm gonna fit in one more item. So this is a Kat Von D lip liner, but this could be an eyeliner or a pen or whatever you would need it for. So I'm just gonna slip that right on top there and then we'll get this zipped up. Make sure that goes down and there we go. And so that actually holds quite a bit, everything that you would need and it's not putting any strain on the zipper. I can still move that around just fine so it's not pulling it. There's just a little bit of a wave, but other than that, it really holds all of the essentials that you would need to go out. So you are ready to go now. Another use for this pouch is gonna be as a travel bag. So since this is such a flat pouch, it is an excellent document holder. So if you are going to the airport and you need to keep all of your tickets and passport and everything in here, you can definitely do that. So I'm gonna show you what it fits for a document holder. So first I have my boarding pass and I am gonna slip that right in here. I am gonna make sure that the printed side is up so as not to put any marks or stains on the light pink interior. If I'm going out of the country, I'm gonna bring some cash for whatever currency the country I am going to use is. And this, I am gonna slip right into this little pocket up top here. And then I also have my passport, so I am gonna slip that in right with my boarding pass. And so those are all the essential travel items that I would need. Obviously, it's not gonna distort anything since all of those items were flat, but if I needed to keep all of those items in a bag in a separate location from everything else because I needed to access them quickly, then this little pouch is an excellent way to organize everything. If I was going to the airport and say I just wanted to carry this and not put it in a larger bag, I can still add in some of the other items that I needed. So again, here is my phone and I can slip that in there and then my wallet with credit cards and everything. and then I am good to go. Now say you are traveling for an extended period of time and you wanna bring some entertainment with you like an iPad or a Kindle, but you don't have a protective or a luxury designer case for your iPad or Kindle, this pouch can double as an electronics case. So I have the iPad mini four and this iPad fits perfectly fine in this pouch. And let me show you here. So this is gonna slip straight down in this pouch, just like that. Push it all the way down and then you can zip it closed. Now, if you did wanna put like a charging cord or something in here, you could definitely do that. I don't think it would zip closed at that point unless you had it kind of stretched out a little bit. But if you do wanna have it just open in your bag, you can definitely do that. Now, say you're really organized and into planning and you have an agenda, whether that be one of the Louis Vuitton agendas or another agenda. I personally really like the Lily Pulitzer agendas. I think that the designs on them are really cute and they come out with new ones every year. But regardless, if you have an agenda and you need to keep all of your planning items together, you can use this pouch as kind of a catch-all for all of those planning items. So inside, I like to put some pens and you can either do pens, highlighters, markers, anything that's a different color right in here and then I will put little sticky tabs and this is what I can mark off with my agenda and then a little pad of paper or post-it notes 
And then I can also use those little whiteout strips or any other office type item goes right in here. And then from here, I would just put that right into my bag. This Neverfull pouch is super versatile and has so many uses. If you found any other uses, I'd love to hear about it. So leave me a comment down below and let me know how you use your pouch and what all you can fit inside. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button just to make sure that you are notified whenever I upload new videos, which is all the time. And if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, just give me a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks for stopping by.